train down memory lane and watch Lil Jermaine do his thing before he made a name. Took forever. I know. We'll talk about it in a second. <clears throat> All right, guys. Super, super, super late start on the day today for today's video. I had to edit yesterday's video and do some stuff this morning. I slept in late because I was up super late last night trying to figure out like what I was going to do with the Jag. So I spent a lot of time researching. Fed actually found an LS swap kit that a company makes. It's literally everything you need. It even has like the CAN bus set up to interface with the factory gauges and AC and everything. It's like literally a hey, full swap. Put on your seatbelt, please, before the oh, internet complains, okay? You're right, you're right, you're right. I just got in, I haven't had time. <laughs> uh, so that, it's $1,800. And then it would use like a NELS motor and a 4L6D automatic trans. Has linkage for the factory sh uh, shifter, everything. It's like fully complete. So huge stress relief. I think that's kind of the route I'm gonna go. I gotta call the company and talk to them about it because they, they say that you need to call them and talk to them before you can order it. And I, I need to save up some money to order it in the first place. So, but that was like a huge stress relief. I don't know if you guys saw last night, but I was pretty stressed out about it. Oh, so fuck, that- Fuck, I'm going. Oh God. We're all screwed. Uh, so that pretty much solves the Jack Dilemma. In theory, for about three grand, I could have an LS in it working, ready to go. Horrible um, theory. T56? No, non T56, bro. Automatic. I just said this. Anyway, we're going to pick up Adam's car uh, from paint. He just got it painted at uh, Seratville or whatever. Um, and then I don't know what the rest of the night holds. I definitely want to get back to the Miata just to kind of let you guys hang on that last night. Sorry about that. So. Journey continues. What the fuck is it? It's just a wing. I thought it was a full car. Hey! What's up? Hey. Yeah? How you doing? Hi. Jimmy. Hey. Come We're here. gonna do car stuff this time. I'm so excited. Good. Yeah, he's just, he's I gonna need to do car stuff. I'll come my car with it. Yeah, I know there's it some car It looks so good. Yeah. It looks so pretty. I know, right? Oh man, you, you just, you're swagging out, Adam. They're swagging out. So happy. Dude, you took the hatch off and did it all in here. Dang, dude. This is so good. <laughs> dude, that looks legit. <laughs> That's so perfect. That's what, what I thought of when I saw the little one. <laughs> Adam got Marco Diablo stickers. This is the best. It's amazing. I knew you'd love it as a gift, Marco. Why is your shirt wet? Is it wet? Yeah. Oh, because I was under the truck and there was water because we forgot to like bleed the system. And then wah, wah, wah. We made it to this like old school sub place. Look at this place. Castleberry area has some uh, some neat neat spots. Dinner, dinner, I'm really hungry. there recognizes his dad came out asked if um, well us probably actually Adam just Adam but his dad asked if it was us and then he this is his company and they gave us free ones of these we all got one Let's keep our drinks cold I'll tell you the one. after this we're gonna go to uh, maybe maybe a little 500 hopefully Hi. or uh, just pick up the car but, but, but being an F, F class celebrity really really has its uh yeah yeah not <laughs> 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 even B U C and D anyway so, Taylor's in the bathroom and doesn't realize that I get to see him through the window. Oh! <laughs> I can imagine taking a duke in there. That doesn't help. Oh, it's wet. It's wet. <laughs> What did you do in here? The toilet was clogged. Ew, get out of here, get out of here. It's so nice. It was clogged when I got in there. I tried to flush it, I tried to help. It's helpless. We did the clear. It looks so sick. Dang, oh my god. Diablo.
she wet? She wet. What up, though? Dude, I can see myself in your foil pants. <laughs> Why am I so green? Because it's the. Uh, no, I think lighting. I'm gonna let him. Uh, green is like the easiest light to absorb, and so they don't give off a lot of light. So. Jimmy just gave me a science lesson about why I'm green right now. Uh, so we're not picking up the car today because it's gonna take too long for the paint to cure. Mark, are you okay, gonna cool. come in here? To to come on over here. I'm just making sure. I just come on over here. Come you on look on. like an alien. Come on over here. No, I'm good. Come on over here. No, let's see how green you look. Come here. I'm come fine. Come here. Let's see how green Marco looks. He says I look like an alien. Come here. All right, anyway, uh, so we're gonna pick it up tomorrow morning, I guess. Uh, I may be along for that journey or not, I don't know. But that means I have time to work on the Miata tonight, which is the plan okay. anyway. Hell yeah. So we're gonna go ride go-karts. They're a little, they're super slow and super cheap, but they, you can drift on like tandem and bump into each other. It's so much fun. I love go-karting at little 500, so that's where we're going next. I'm just gonna bash it too. That's the point. First time here, you had no idea what to expect. No, it was so fun. I mean, so fun. It definitely felt way cooler than it probably was. Look, it packed up. We, we had little 500 is so fun because you, you're just like we were like three deep uh, glass races. It was four deep, and then, and then four deep, and then uh, we kind of pushed Adam out accidentally. Say no, this time like full angle kick. All right, now <laughs> now where are we heading? What are we doing now? I don't know. Uh, I'm all hyped now. Jimmy's got me all hyped. You're a hype man. I, I I get I get excited. He's like, oh, we're drifting, we're doing, we're just drifting. <laughs> Let me in the car, Marco. Let me in the car. It's a van. Let me in. I need coffee. Ooh, coffee would be nice. Where my Vietnamese coffee. Boba. Pho. <laughs> We're going back to my house uh, to work on my Miata and ride the pit bike and do fun stuff. Adam and Jimmy are coming too. I convinced them. So this should be a fun night. Typical Florida. It was just fine and nice out. Now it's pouring down rain. I can't even see. We out here with wet feet. We out here with wet feet. Wet feet slipping off. Jimmy likes pit bike wheelies too. It's so fun. Oh, that was a good one. Still going. Jimmy's like a master with these little like trinkety interior things, so he's gonna help me with the AVS thing. Cause Marco's idea was a little bit too far-fetched. We out here, what up though? 
Better not F this up, Jimmy. F it in the, that makes it so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> now you can't see the line at all. I like your commitment, Jimmy. You just like steer-headed this project. I think it's great. Okay. This is great. Hopefully this doesn't... You're saying he's more dedicated than you are? Yeah, I know. That's not hard to be. Florida. Wow, Marco. Why don't you just leave now? Get up. Dang, it's my skill saw. I'll take it with me. Oh, it's a jigsaw. <laughs> we were arguing. I was arguing with Marco because he's like, I want to bring a skill saw. I'm like, we can't cut it through the skill saw. He's like, you know, the little thing. I'm like, that's a jigsaw. He's like, no, it's a skill saw. I swear, it says it on the box. Let's look at the box. I'm not sure that says skill saw. I guess that means uh, skill saw in Spanish. Skill, jig, <laughs> jig means skill in Spanish. Oh, I guess in case so. you didn't know. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Friction welded itself. It really did. Crack! Just kidding. It welded itself to itself because it got so hot. So Taylor is out here with a. Um, We're just using the light duty tools for the ABS plastic. So know? Taylor has to take a nice little air off. If you could just get it down to the pencil line, maybe. Okay. I was Marco are working on this. I'm gonna start running the rest of the wires from the trigger on power to behind the uh, radio area. <laughs> All right, let's look at this cut first. It's Jimmy's fault, man. First, Jimmy, let me ask you, since I wasn't I wasn't around, what did uh, Marco say before he cut it? Um, he said he had it. I figured. I, I have he, it. he looked me in the eyes and he said, "What up, Joe? We out here. I have it." <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he said that, Jimmy. Listen, the light word was in the way. That he word. put the light in my eye. I couldn't see. Yeah, okay. He was cutting, and I was like, "Fuck you, man!" <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Okay. 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 And all right, Marco. It looks like a freaking mask. This one's perfect. He, Jimmy did this one. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, I am the evil ABS With that plastic. beard, it's perfect. You gotta you got aim down. I'm gonna draw a mouth on it now. I marked out uh, 1 through no, 24 inches here so I can just I measure and then cut my wires. Make it easier. I'm just gonna make a bunch at one time. I have a little shitty file, so this is what Jimmy has to do. Oh my god, it's hilarious. I like to take the, uh, the connectors without the little plastic part or just take the plastic part off and then use heat shrink. Works so uh, much better. Focus. Well, that's perfect for YouTube subscribers. When shit hits the fan, is you still a fan? So then you heat shrink it, it looks much better. Looks anyway, amazing. That's it. <laughs> Wait, Jimmy, I'm proud of you. These actually look hey, pretty good. Hey, hey. And and Marco and I Marco. Drilled and cut, cut I had faith in you, but, but Jimmy's Jimmy's is a Jimmy test, you know? I excessively filed this for the past twenty minutes. Let me yeah, see. I'm proud of you. Well you have the better hand for that. <laughs> Yeah, it looks bad. good. Not great, but not bad. All right, I made these little pigtails so that whenever I take these out, I can just unplug the power and ground instead of having to unscrew it. So that looks all fancy. Then I've got these other wires made, the ones that run power to here and here into the, the clock and one other thing. What's, what else? Oh, wideband. Uh, so I just need to make uh, the wire extender for the harness for the oil pressure. And then uh, all the grounds. I've got to figure out what I, how I'm gonna ground them. So I was gonna ground them to one screw, but now it's a lot of grounds, and I don't. I don't. I gotta figure that out. Jimmy and Marco finished it up. Look at that. Be out here. What up, dude? Bro? Oh, it's like exactly what I dreamed it would be. It, the colors work really well. It sucks when you have like like one random gauge. It's like yeah. Color. Yeah. Exactly. But, no, this looks great. They're all like. The same I'm, color I'm stoked. It looks really good. Sweet. We're taking a break, and I'm making Jimmy play R Factor. Cause I have to make everyone try it. Cause we didn't put all this work in for nothing, Jimmy. Oh God, this, this is cool, this is hard. This game is pretty like, it's definitely way more reactive than Forza. I, I feel like it is too. And I've tried to set a course and it's like, doesn't feel right at all. What up? Fed literally went to Alabama back to get him a Corvette. Do you guys just got back? Yeah. And you left this morning? Yep, you got seven or eight. eight Jesus. Eight. All right, I just dropped Jimmy off. Adam had to leave early, so I went and dropped Jimmy off because um, he wanted to stay and hang out. I'm going to finish making the rest of the wires, install the wires, install that. And I last minute decided I think I'm going to drive the drift event tomorrow. Don't get your hopes up because I might change my mind, but pretty sure I'm going to drive it because I already got tires mounted and, you know, why not? <laughs>
All right, so we've got all the ground wires, all the power wires, and then these are the wires to go to the oil pressure sensor, um, to the pigtail coming off of the actual sender itself. For these auger gauges, they're meant to be used with an array of different sensors. So you have five, pretty much five options of how you could organize everything. So I just go online, they have a PDF and it tells you right in the PDF which ones to use for which type of sensor, like an RTD sensor or a thermocouple sensor. Uh, for a pressure sensor we use six, seven, and nine I believe. I was wrong, it's uh, six, nine, and ten. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the final product before I put everything in. So these are all our trigger on powers running. These are all our constants. Straighten that one up a little bit. Um, so that's what this whole setup looks like. This will be covered again, obviously. And then the old wiring mess was reduced to this. Um, it, looks a little, it looks a little sloppy because we've got the random grounds and power wires running over here um, until they get plugged in. But I mean, overall, it's a significant improvement from before. I'll pop up a picture of before. Yeah, so that was that was terrible. <laughs> this is a lot better, a lot cleaner. So time to install this setup. Testing everything out, seems to be working fine. Now time for the final install. And it's done. We've got temp, oil pressure, clock, boost, wide band. Oh, I'm so hyped, it finally looks so good. You know, it reads down to point uh, of a, a PSI, so it'd be like 25.2 instead of just 25, 26, it, it actually has a decimal point in it. So in this, you have to move the decimal point over one to work with that one. That's pretty much it with these gauges. They're super simple to set up once you get to understand them. Time to put the interior back together. Done! I am so hyped on how these came out. Like, I've been wanting to do this for so long. I'm so hyped, look at it. <laughs> So we've got boost, wideband, clock, which this came with the car, but I thought it was super neat. Um, coolant temp and oil pressure. This will be for switches in the future or whatever. Um, it's just pretty much open for anything that needs to be added, but I figured I'd put it there so it looks nice and clean, but oh, that looks good. And then in here it looks really good too, but I just put this on and I Velcroed it, so hopefully it stays on this time. Oh man, I, I can't get over it. I'm just... This is one of those products I've been putting off and I'm just so stoked to have it done. I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out here. It's super late, it's like four in the morning. I've been sleeping late, staying up late, but I gotta get up early tomorrow. I've got a lot to do. I need to get some stuff done on my own, uh, go help Adam with his car so we can get his car done uh, for the drift event tomorrow, get my car loaded up for the drift event tomorrow, go to the drift event, drive the drift event. It's gonna be a long, but really fun day tomorrow. Um, thank you guys for coming with me on like these little daily vlog things. Uh, after this week, I'm going to go back to like the normal schedule programming, like videos of whenever I'm doing a car related thing and of that specific thing. Uh, but you know, let me know what you thought of these vlogs, you know, for in the future when I have time off. But, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, can't forget the, uh, rock lights total addition to the whole mood of the interior oh man I'm so I'm just I'm so stoked on this I can't even like get over it I'm just so happy I'm just sitting here enjoying it